Governor Glenn Youngkin was sworn in as the Commonwealth's 74th governor. Winsome Sears became Virginia's first woman and first woman of color to serve as lieutenant governor. And Attorney General Jason Miares became the first Hispanic ever elected to statewide office. Northern Virginia Bureau Chief Julie Carey was in Richmond. So help me God. Glenn Youngkin taking his first ever oath of office as governor of Virginia. The early words of his inaugural address strategically interrupted. Today we gather not as individuals. By a flyover. And we celebrate the sound of freedom. Youngkin's speech emphasizing unity, but also underscoring his belief that government is playing too great a role in Virginians' lives. The spirit of Virginia is not a spirit that is rested in government telling us what is best for us, but rather reflecting the will of the people. The biggest eruption of applause coming when Youngkin turned to education, an issue that helped him win in a record turnout election. We will remove politics from the classroom and refocus on essential and we will focus on essential math and science and reading. The new governor also putting a spotlight on the most diverse team ever to lead Virginia. History being made with Attorney General Jason Miara's becoming the first Latino elected to statewide office. Lieutenant Governor Winsome Sears, the first black woman. When they said no, she says it will happen. When they said you can't, she says I did. Youngkin supporters predicting his personality and business background will enable him to win over some Democrats and move his agenda forward. I think the people are looking for is a governor that's going to listen to them as to what they want and then to actually accomplish things. And I think Glenn is the perfect guy to be able to do that for us. Well, it's a day of celebration. Governor Glenn Youngkin has made it clear he's starting work on day one, and he's doing it by signing 11 executive orders and actions, including one lifting the mask mandate of Virginia schools and lifting the vaccine mandate for state employees. In Richmond, Virginia, I'm Julie Carey, News 4. Another one of Governor Youngkin's executive orders says there will be an investigation into, quote, wrongdoing in Loudoun County Public Schools. The new attorney general followed that by announcing he's launching a probe into how the district handled a recent sex assault case. 